My name is Ben Green. I'm one of the partners involved in Ledgecroft Farms. We're in the business of producing product consumed by the general public. Milk is our principal uh, product. We now are in the business of uh, producing energy. This is our renewable energy site here. We take uh, cattle manure, we take the organic waste and we combine the two of them in a concrete vessel which is heated and circulated. We get elements that are released naturally through this rotting and one of them is methane. We take methane which is a, an energy source for a generator and fuel the engine with it, turn a turbine and make electricity and uh, so far it's all good. So this is where our renewable resource starts. This is, these are the babies in here. They're not very old, and they're, but they're very uh, happy and content. So they have a, everybody has a place to sleep and, a, and food to eat. So they come up when they want. It's a freestyle situation. So this is uh, just a continuous operation uh, manure collection system. The raw manure is automatically collected all the time. And this is it in its rawest form, fresh out of the cow. All the manure on the farm is contained and transferred to a transfer point we're pathogen free after we've contained and uh, heated the, the digestate. And then it's mechanically pumped underground back to the vessel. After we take it to the vessel and combine the organic waste to it, so this product is a residue of grease trap collection, uh, non-usable in any way other than to uh, put it through some kind of project like this. This organic waste that, we, that we're using is collected in uh, metropolitan areas. They have a collection system where they collect uh, grease trap waste from restaurants. They have boxes that they catch it. If it doesn't come from the farm, we have to pasteurize it so that uh, there can be nothing that goes out on the land that's uh, deemed as being dangerous or offensive. We contain the organic waste and we heat it to 70 degrees Celsius. Hold it for an hour before we dispense it into the vessel. The computer that, uh, that is here controls everything that happens in the biogas plant. So the, the generator demands and uh, the pasteurization demands, they all are are controlled from this area. We're up the top of the vessel looking in the window here and this is where the we can view the homogeneous effect that we got going on here. So it's an anaerobic situation so it's lack of oxygen so we've contained and eliminated the oxygen. Oxygen is, is a detriment to us. So the degradation of, the, of everything in here, just uh, the rotting process as I spoke before, one of the elements that's released through degradation is methane. And the methane ends up bubbles about the size of a golf ball, and they just uh, pop. They come to the surface and just pop. So we, can, we catch the, collect the methane uh, in a, an expandable membrane, and then we siphon it to a generator. This is the generator that we use, that we fuel to make electricity. The generator that we have in place over here is a Yenbacher. Yenbachers are built specifically to combust uh, methane. This is the flare over here, so if the generator can't run for any, for any reason, then the, the flare takes over and burns uh, the methane so it's not released into the air. The heat is extracted from the hot spots in the generator and then is pumped around the, the farm site for it to be utilized in effective use. We take the digestate that's the end product of the biogas plant 
and then we return it to the soil as fertility and then the plants use it to, uh, to, to grow and then the cycle begins again and we harvest the crops and then they go through the cows again so it's just a great big circle, a renewable circle. Eh? I have found no one yet that can say there's anything negative about biogas. Biogas is positive, positive, positive. It's just amazing.